Hello YouTube, Al here, and I want to do a quick video on my Fender Esquire GT Custom. So, this pickup is an Iron Gear Tesla Shark, and it's a really, really good pickup. But as you can see, it's got really pitted. Um, I don't know why, I leave this in the case with silica gel, but for whatever reason, the strings go rusty, and the uh, brass saddles have gone a bit corroded, uh, or tarnished. And yeah, the, the pickup cover's got loads of flecks of corrosion on it, and I, I don't think I can really clean it off. It will just go weird, just go funny and scratched up, and it's a bit of a shame. So, I'm gonna do a video today on how to take the cover off, um, off a humbucker. So I'm gonna do a couple of chords, and then I'll take the pickup off, pickup cover off, and then I'll do more, more chords, and we'll see how different it sounds. So, Marco Terra, Blackstar 112, um, no pedals, it's a straight in. Sounds better in tune. There you go. Less reverb, not BB King. Bit of DM drive, the drive side. Strings are quite rusty because, again, um, for some reason, they go rusty in the case. It's very annoying. So, um, now I'm going to take the pickup cover off. So, I'm going to take these four screws, one, two, three, four, out at the side. I don't need to bother with this one and that one because they just hold the pickup in the mounting ring. So, I'll slacken these strings. Hopefully one won't break because I want to keep the same dead strings on here for the sake of it being a scientific test. Um, laser. So, um... Yeah, let me get the pickup out and I'll start taking the cover off. See you in a sec. Okay, so I've got the pickup out from under the strings. There we go. Now it's flip the pickup over and you'll see two solder joints either side. I'm gonna put a craft knife down the side and I will gently go back and forward just to cut through the solder joint either side. Um, there'll be a bit of a lip on the edge of this base plate here, which means I should be able to get away with not interrupting, uh, interfering with the coils or anything. So here's me going through it. Again, just going gently back and forward to try and break the solder joint. If you follow the channel where it wants to go down the side of the pickup, you should avoid compromising the wax or anything like that. Okay, so I've just weakened the solder joints uh, and I pop this down the side, give it a little and then there's a slight pop and it's broken the solder joints. So now I can take the cover off. So I hold it by the legs either side and apply pressure pretty evenly across both sides and it should start to come off.
Maybe if I push. Because it can't be asked to take it out the pickup ring, if I'm being honest. I've taken it out of the uh, ring because it's a lot easier, but it, I felt it pop. Um, oh, hello. There we go. Ah, it's a zebra. Didn't expect it to be a zebra. I was kind of hoping it would be all black, to be honest. Um, just so it fit with the colour scheme a bit better. It does not matter. Not end of the world. Still looks kind of cool. These are great pickups. Let me get rid of this excess wax on the outside. a bit of looks like copper that was the coating you can see there on the inside a little bit of copper probably can't focus no oh well but anyway covers off doesn't matter about these little blobs of solder on the side um now to put the pickup back okay so the pickup's back in let's wait for the amp to warm up Oh, there we go. Um, let's see how it sounds. Did M drive? I saved the old strings, but they went to them bloody tune. is the pickup taken off my Esquire. Um, here's the pickup. It's incredibly pitted. Uh, it's not very, not very nice. I'll see if I can clean this up. I don't believe that I can. Um, I quite like the look of this with the Zebra pickup, to be honest. It looks very ragtag now, which I suppose it is. Um, it's a nine gig Tesla Shark. That's the pickup, so it's a slash-ish pickup. So there you have it. That's what it sounds like with the pickup cover off. Um, I think it sounds a bit more high-endy, a bit nicer. I think I'm going to lower the uh, adjustable pole pieces because they're really quite high, if you can see that. So I'm probably going to make it a bit more flat poly. A uh, bit of corrosion on the screws. 
but I don't really care about that. So there you have it, I think it sounds a bit brighter, um, well not brighter, a bit clearer, a bit less muffled. <laughs> So I'm really happy with it, it sounds great actually. So there you go, um, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, all that nonsense, and I'll see you next week. Till then, bye bye. Bye!